data feed. Are, are you hungry for data as well? Uh, I can never get enough data. You know. Yeah. I just presented at a machine learning conference and I realized that just the more data you have, the better. Yeah. I always say in terms of big data, without data, you don't have big data. That's a good point. Yes. I'm and glad someone's there though. And there, there are a lot of people doing big data projects without any data. Uh -huh. So that's that's important. So that's the that's a problem that the data feed uh, pattern is, uh, is solving. Oh, it does. It brings big, big data to Ethereum. Well, it's in, in small pieces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, tell me more about what kind of problem. Are you yeah, so the problem about? you're solving, right? So as a as a as a smart contract, we want to, or as a developer of a smart contract, we want to interact with the outside world. We want to yeah. get all kinds of interesting data into our system. Yeah. But yeah, as you know, from a contract, you cannot. You cannot visit a website. You cannot go fetch some kind of result from a web service. So there's right. no direct way to interact with the, the real outside world. No. And why? Why is that? Um, because you're stuck in blockchain world, I guess. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's state aware, but only the state of the blockchain. Right. Right. So the yeah contract execution is deterministic. So if you were to rely on the outside world and have to visit a web call, but then the website is down or blocked or something like that and you would get different results of your contract execution so that's not going to work so we need a different different solution so yeah tell me exactly kind of when when this would be used then it's yeah good examples right so if you have some kind of you want to use some kind of weather data maybe if you well, have yeah. some kind of crop insurance you want to see if there was a rainfall or not mm -hmm. in a certain location um, I guess all kinds of financial Contracts mm -hmm. could use exchange rate between the Ethereum price and the and the dollar price and the Bitcoin price. Um, I had to get into a little bit of a side here, but I mean, does this require a trusted third party, or do we have some funkier kind of solutions as well? I think we made a video about shelling coins. Yeah, yeah, shelling coin could apply. You could have. You could also have like multiple. So one data feed typically would be a trusted data feed or you would trust the provider of the data feed to some level but you can mitigate some some kind of attacks right so you could rely on multiple data feeds and and see if there's some kind of majority consensus going on yeah and, and then you could even ensure for the case where they're not agreeing with each other mm -hmm. and yeah the shelling the shelling point the shelling coin example is a, is a, is a, is a very interesting alternative but this is really about the simple the simple case yeah, let's start with a simple case. So, forces, what does that mean? It's sort of, what are the kind of competing forces? Yeah, what are the trade-offs that you have, right? So, the question is like, is, is the data that you need to get, is it is it interest just for you in this single case, mm -hmm. or is it a generically useful service? Mm -hmm. So maybe if you provide a exchange rate, there are many kind of applications could yeah. be using this, this piece of data, so you yeah. really benefit from it. Contrary to if you're looking for the weather in a for a specific day in a certain location, that's not going to be very common. Yeah. Um, so that also that also kind of influences like the data that the data feed publishes. Is it push based or pull based? So are you just always going to update with the latest information? So I would call that push based, or are you going to wait for somebody to request the data and even after they, they requested it, then you're going to provide it on a case by case. So then you're gonna to have to build a sort of asynchronous layer into your, you know, data feed lookup yeah. or something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it gets closer to the what is it, the Oracle pattern, I think we yeah. uh, we call it, right? So these, these kind of patterns kinda of, kinda of start to uh, start to overlap. Yeah. So the solution, um, I guess kind of already gone through this, but some the entries or whatever the data is there and possibly timestamp. Yeah, but you, but you need to have some kind of automated process, some kind of daemon process mm -hmm. that is running on a, on a server somewhere mm -hmm. or even on multiple servers mm -hmm. um, that are constantly updating the, the, the contract, uh, contract storage. So the, yeah. it's, a, it's a special case, right? So this, this is typically like a trusted address or there's some mm -hmm. kind of way to verify that this is the machine that has access to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and after you store the, the, the you update the data and the contract storage, then every other contract can call the contract and request the data out of it. Interesting. So this is different from using event log, because with event log, the problem is that other contracts cannot 
the kind of inspect the data. But here you can inspect the data. And interestingly, you get can actually charge them for getting the data. Oh yeah. So that's a great revenue model for for these things as well. Yeah, so you can be a data feed provider and just charge people. To exactly, on a case-by-case basis. Or you can make it more, you can make it cheaper, the more people request the kind of data. Oh, so all kinds of interesting, interesting. economies are, are available. And you could have a bidding for, even on the asynchronous model, you could look up any kind of data. Yeah, sure. yeah, pretty much, yes. And you can even do like a, a freemium model, right? So where you provide the data, but you introduce some kind of error in it. And yeah. Then if people charge, so if people pay, then you're you're removing the error. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. That's that's a good one. I'm going to guarantee do that one. this weather plus or minus five degrees or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Will increase the <laughs> Always return the weather in the North Pole. Snow, <laughs> snow. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so yeah, a couple examples. We already mentioned them. So I I guess weather. I don't know how many weather related. Smart contracts, you're saying yours, but, um, but I guess, uh, yeah, the price feed thing is the one that comes to mind as the most obvious kind of thing as well. So, oh, it looks like that's what we have. It looks like, uh, yeah, I think some of this was actually written in our office back in Palo Alto. I think Dod Nick, Nick Dodson wrote it. Oh, Nick wrote this one, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is uh, storing the, the price feed for a like, certain exchange rate between. Uh, is ether and, and another kind of currency, yeah. um, and you can you can update it, but only the owner can do it. Nice. And you can get the latest kind of uh, information. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So pretty useful to have these data feeds around for a lot of yeah. applications. Yeah, there will be a lot of them, and this could actually be a role of traditionally trusted parties like banks and insurance companies and Bloomberg. They could yeah. be. I mean, they have this kind of data anyway, and they have a certain kind of, well, reliability associated with their name. So they yeah. could be providing this data on the blockchain, just expose whatever they have out there, either for a fee or, or for uh, for free. And uh, that could it's be kind a, of what Bloomberg's business model is already, I think. So it, it yeah. is, yeah. but not yet on the on the blockchain. So uh, we need to. Uh, Someone call those people up and tell them. That we need to. Our, our people, people need to talk manage, to their yeah. people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If you are a loyal Ethercraft subscriber, get on the phone to your friends at Bloomberg right now. All right, Bloomberg, the game is on. Either that or create your own version.